before we do this third game, Again, permit me just a 10 second introduction. We are going to talk about why the right answers are right. And the answers to all of those questions are always that the other four answer choices break a rule. But see, this is what other companies would charge you for, and I don't think that's right. Now, on to these questions. We've got a game that has asked us to put things into order, so I've got an organizational template there that'll allow me to do that. And then I've got a rule set, and you notice that I have tried to render these rules visually. Rule 1S is not first, that says something is in front of it. Rule 2, conditional language, and if you don't know that, again, um, the free tip of the day has some conditional stuff in it, the FAQ has some conditional stuff in it. Um, I can give you a link to more conditional stuff if you need it. Um, but if H is before L, then it's also before M. And if H is, I'm sorry, if M, did I say that right? If H is before L, then M is also before L. There, I said it right that time. And if L is before M by contrapositive, then L is also before H. All right, uh, S before M and V. Fourth rule, if H cannot be before both of them, then, did I say H? Dear sweet God in heaven, language is hard. T cannot be before both of them. So T is before one of them and after the other. In other words, T is in between them. And putting that all together, we see that S is before M and V. I don't know where T is gonna go on either side of V, right? But that thing before S, it's not T, T can't be first, got something before it. It's not M and V, so that leaves only H or L. Process of elimination. All right, question 12, a global accounting of all of our elements. Notice that answer choice A breaks rule two, B breaks rule four, D breaks rule one, E breaks rule three. That leaves us with only answer choice C, which doesn't break any rules, so it's accurate. Question 13, what could be true? Answer choice A, you're not doing without breaking rule one and or rule two. Answer choice B, on the other hand, doesn't break any rules, so it's possible. And what would that look like? The sundial's on the second and the vase is on the third. Now we have to have H or L in front. Let's make it L. And then, um, We've got to have T in between V and H. So, S is not first. If uh, L is before M, it's also before H. S is before both M and V, and T is in between H and V. This just works. Uh, C, D, and E, you can't do any of those without breaking rule three. All right, question 14. It's just a matter of doing what it says and then making sure you don't break any rules. If the table is later than both the mirror and the vase, what could be true? Well, put the table later than both the mirror and the vase. Those are both later than S, and S is later than something. And T has to be in between H and V, right? It's after V, it's before H. And now that's one, two, three, four, five, six things. So this is the last thing, it's L. And that shows us the order. It has to be L, S, M, and V in some order, and then T, and then H. So what could be true? D, the mirror, is earlier than the vase. That could be true. Question 15, what can you not do right before the vase? Answer is A, the harmonica. You can't do the harmonica right before the vase. It's just a rule. T has to be in between them. There's your answer. Uh, question 16, what could be true? For A, B, C, and D, you cannot do any of those without violating rule one and or rule two. I mean, A and C are just direct violations of rule one, and the others would violate one or the other of one or two. First or second rule. Answer choice E on the other hand, the mirror is on the fifth. No problem, it just doesn't violate any rules. And we could do it like this. Notice I'm just taking 
prior work and going through it. S is not first, S is before M and V, T is in between V and H, uh, L is before both M and H. And, you know, that's the way it could happen. Uh, finally, then, question 17, what could be true? Why, in other words, is the answer B, the sundial's on the fourth? Well, if the sundial were on the fourth, you know it would be before M and V in some order. Put them in any order. And then now T has to be in between H and V, so let's get it in between. L is before M, so L is also before H. And this just works. A, on the other hand, is going to break rule 3. C is going to break rule 2. D is going to break one or the other of rules 1 and 3. And E is going to break rule 4. And that's what it's like, you know? But again, you want to know how to do it, you want a system, you want a method, I can give you that. But it's worth paying something for, I think.